Imagine a time and place where people from all around the world work together to develop new inventions, discover new knowledge, and understand more about our universe. A place where the language was science used to make the world a better place. Such a time and place existed. It was a long time ago and has almost been forgotten. In the 9th century, there was an outstanding Persian mathematician and author by the name of Muhammad al-Khwarizmi. Born in 780 AD in Khwarizm, his name is the origin of the word algorithm. Al-Khwarizmi was a scholar in Baghdad and worked in mathematics, astronomy, and geography in the House of Wisdom. Hi, I am Abu Abdullah al-Khawarizmi, the father of algebra and the creator of algorithms. You may be wondering how algorithms are relevant today. Well, it's simple. Algorithms are a set of instructions and they are used in almost all of the devices around us. Computers, iPads, telephones, you name it. Every time you press a button, or tap the screen, you are telling your device to do something. And the way your device reacts to that instruction is based on an algorithm. The word algebra came from the famous mathematics book that he wrote, called the Compendious Book on Calculations by Completion and Balancing, which contained a logical approach to solving linear and quadratic equations. This was the first book to ever be written on algebra. Al-Khwarizmi also wrote about the clock, the astrolabe, and the sundial. Mathematics and sciences would not be what they are today without his groundbreaking contributions. And so, as we see great Muslim minds have walked this earth, as scholars, scientists, doctors, philosophers, and engineers. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. So if you dare to imagine like those before us, you will become creators who bring dreams to life.